So over to Pratik Bhai and uh, Don for, so Don and Pratik, um, they are from Save Max Achie uh, Realty Achievers. Um, they have been supporting GPAC as well. They, he was a director earlier. And now um, they are going to talk about what we should do as, or what you should do to integrate into the community. Thank you. <clears throat> thank you, Dawal. Thank you, GPAC. I first of all like to thank you all of you to coming down over here on a cold weather, all the students who has taken their time and uh, be here part of GFAC first seminar for international students. Myself, Don Patel, I've been here in this country for 27 plus years, have seen lots of changes over here. At that time, we didn't have the opportunity what students are getting it right now. You've been, uh, I won't say spoiled, but you've been benefited with lots of advantage what we have as a worldwide web also. Uh, having said that, we have done small uh, of the presentation of each and every sector what we have covered. F as soon as you land into this country, you require the job, first job, your main goal is to have the qualified job after you finish the study, your car and all the short term goals. After that, we come over here into the presence and also the immigration will be your last part, which will also help you to integrate into the PR system and then to the citizenship. But real estate is the long-term goal which you all are ready to face into your life. This is your biggest investment. What are you going to do it into that one? With the help of realtors, mortgage people, and lawyers, there are lots of trades What we have it right now, which was not here before 10, 20 years ago. So guys, I will request you to take an advantage on that one and take it over there. We have opened up a Save Max Real, uh, Achievers Realty as a franchise just a few months before and has been joined and uh, applauded from the community. My uh, current honorary manager of our brokerage, Patik Shukla, will give you some presentation how to do the integrated and also I'll um, welcome my partner Ashok Patel to be here also. Um, guys, any questions or anything for this long-term goal, what you have it, it's not going to be a boring short and sweet because we have still one more very important presentation to be done after that. So over to you, Patek. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Don. Well, just a uh, disclaimer before we start, you know, initially when we started uh, the GPAC president, Dawal, why they are very rightly said that we have a panel of expert. So from my time, it's not an expert panel. I'm not an expert. I'm just having a bit of an experience working in community with all of you, the gentlemen over here, who has been much, much experience of being in Canada. I'm being in Canada only for seven years, so I'm not that experienced. So from I just want to put a disclaimer that I'm not an expert on this, but this is what I've experienced with friends all across around, and especially Don, Naresh Bhai, uh, Dawal Bhai, and everyone. Well, uh, integrating into Canadian culture, I take the privilege to welcome you all to Canada. It's a land of opportunity, land of hopes. So now you are in Canada with lots of hopes, and mind you, it's not only your hopes. When one student comes to Canada, there is hopes for five other students your friends, your cousins, your relatives, that yes, this gentleman, this student is getting into Canada, you know, you start getting a lot more calls that, you know, if you could made it, what, what did you do good that, you know, why my son can do it. So you are now an um, ambassador, you are the brand ambassadors for the immigration. That you did it, now there's going to be people following you. So welcome to Canada. Before we go on to the next slide, this slide, this is what the Canadian culture is. You start your day with Tim Hortons. Whether you like it or not, I believe me myself, when I went down first time with the Tim Hortons and I was ordering a coffee, I was asked what type of coffee you wanted. And believe me, I had no answer. I said, I want coffee. <laughs> and that's what I think many of us would have it. I never knew it could be double-double, it could be uh, triple-triple, or it could be black or anything. I said, I need a coffee. And the lady was, again, an Indian. Luckily, she said, OK, so how many sugars you want? I says, yeah, just two spoon. And then she says, do you need milk? I says, yeah, normally the coffee comes with milk. That's what Indian culture was, but this and is Canadian culture. And that's one of the reasons also the and Jignes arranged Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons over here. Uh, the Raptors, you know, this is the Canadian culture. Again, we are born with uh, cricket and, you know, a lot many other sports. Yes, cricket is developing in Canada, but to start off, to integrate into this culture, 
it's Raptors and the ice hockey and stuff like that. Then you have malls in Canada, and I don't say that you go and out, out and you know have beers and stuff. But mind you, this is Canadian culture. To integrate it, you need to have friends. It's not I'm not advertising anything about that. That you know this is, but that's a brand of Canada. So this is what the Canadian culture is. Now you know we start off with this understanding it whether you like it or not. The day you enter into Canada, you go to a college on the very first day. This is what you're gonna face it. How would you integrate it? The communication is the key. Canada is a land of immigrants. So even if you don't know English, don't sigh out to speak out. You can start with English, whatever you know it. Everyone over here doesn't know best of the English. More than, like, you know, uh, the consulate general was here. He mentioned about the 200,000 Indian students are in Canada this day as an international student. Before India, the number one was China. And believe me, there were like about 60% of the Chinese students who has not, who doesn't have English as the first language, like we guys. So don't sigh out. Speak whatever the way you want it. Initially, I'll just quote a half a minute of my experience. When I came to Canada, I had my education in English. And when I used to speak with my colleagues in English, my speaking in English was a bit faster. And my colleagues would say, what did you say? Post down, post down. And I thought that if I speak English slowly, that means they're going to think it that I don't know English. So I used to speak faster, but I started speaking more faster than I could just to create an impression that I know English, but that went other way around. So this is a lot of practical examples. Have, when you shake hand, in India, you know, we do a lot of other things, but you know, you have to have a firm handshake over here. Say hello instead of just nodding the names. Had, you know, we just say, when someone say, how are you? No, man, you have to communicate. Okay means, I understand. The next slide. It always has to be a two-way traffic. Whatever you want it, you have to ask for it. There's no way that you're not going to get it over here. Ask for it, communicate the best you can. The opportunities to integrate into the Canadian culture, I'll ask uh, my friend Don to just give a brief about uh, each opportunities, and then we'll have open it for the next session. Don. Uh, <clears throat> thank you, Patek. This is a vast uh, uh, discussion topic where we are can get involved with the social community education is the reason you guys are here that's the reason we say international student seminar politically you can get engaged or the religious way you can get engaged later on also but this is a vast discussion we we have it at this topic I would like if you really want to discuss about that thing as a time restraint we'll focus on the next time or you can talk to us over here uh, as being an entrepreneur or I hire lots of students into my few of the stake in the organization by all means come and talk to us we'll be able to help you i work with our immigration team to make sure your pr is in the right track and all the stuff but at the same time as i mentioned the long-term goal is what you guys have to do it having said all of this also as kamalji mentioned safety and keeping yourself into the right track of the canadian culture is also very 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 important because as you mentioned people doesn't look as you think of it but they can take an advantage of you in a lots of different way you guys are here for a qualified job as vjg mentioned you are not here to be a driver or just a cashier on that thing be open have a two-way communications and GPAC and all of the community organizations are here to help you to succeed, not to just keep you at the same stage what we are thinking right now. Uh, Ashok just say, will say a few words of thanking and we'll uh, go to the next topic. Please. Thank you very much, everyone. If you have any question, don't hesitate. Call myself, Ashok Patel and Don Patel. Our number is there. Please note it. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. This was really helpful because when I ordered like, so my first team meeting, and I, I was told that, what about getting a pizza for you? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, why not? So I get a pizza, and uh, it was like, it looked like it was tomatoes on top of it. So I'm like, okay, I'm just going to go for it. And then one of the lady who I reported into, she said, like, aren't you vegetarian? And I'm like, yeah, because I had mentioned her in my interview. And she said, oh, this is pepperoni. So yeah, it does happen. 
and lots of times like we don't know what we don't know so these are some of the things which we need to know and it will help so now canadian yeah canadian tomatoes and this is coming from somebody who is not even touching it 